Hi, this is Karthik. In this video, I will give a brief introduction of Android Studio. And this video is for a beginners who want to develop Android apps using Android Studio. So in this video, I will give a brief orientation of what is Android Studio, what are the languages we use while developing these Android apps. Okay, let's get started. So this is Android Studio. When you open the first time, it will look like this. If you want to install Android Studio, I will give the link of the installation file in the description of this video. You can download it from there. It is very easy to set up. You can just follow the on-screen instructions. That's it. Next is, if you first open uh, Android Studio after installing, it will show like this. So I will select a new project and here there are few uh, activities that is templates are there and also in the left margin you can see here for phone or tablet Wear OS Android TV like this so many are there so what we can select is for now we will stick to the phone and tablet and here there are different templates and I am selecting here is a empty activity then click on next in this screen what we have to do is we have to give an name for our application so I will give it as hello world and package name so this is very important here see in for every Android app has an unique package name suppose here you can see com suppose I will change it to com dot hello dot world okay so suppose if any app in the play store already is using this package name you cannot update your app to the play store okay so please make sure that you check an unique package name and the package name must at least contain two words with a dot in between okay so if you want to add another word to package you must add another dot after that you should have you should enter the word like this so you cannot use you can use like this but you cannot use like this okay so if you think these are two words it is wrong the package name must at least contain two words separated by a dot so let's stick back to the old one com dot hello dot world and this package name is completely your choice you can give anything but if you want to up upload your app to play store the package name must be unique okay next is this is a save location so where you want to save you can choose the directory by selecting this folder icon here then language there are two languages basically android studio use java and kotlin in our uh, videos i will use only java for now and one more thing is uh, different languages for using are used to develop android apps are java kotlin then flutter react native angular js like this many of many are there but the popular is java kotlin and flutter java you can only develop for android os even kotlin also same but uh, when coming with the flutter with flutter we can develop cross platform apps that is if you code for android in flutter the same code base can be used for ios windows web like that so single uh, code base for multiple operating systems so let's click on finish now and it will take few minutes based on your system configuration to complete the building so you can see at the bottom you can see at the bottom it is uh, showing some progress here so we have to wait until the it will show the building gradle build is finished so 
we will wait for that for some time okay now the build has finished to confirm the whether the build is finished or not what you have to do is you can select the build here see it is shown here build successful in 1 minute and 13 seconds as this is a first time we are opening this project it will take some time but from the next time when you open this project it will build in a seconds that is uh, 20 to 30 seconds it will be finished okay now now let uh, we will get, get to the anatomy of this android studio so here uh, by default it will open two files here that is activity main.xml and main activity dot java you can see on the top the names here so these two are the when you open a project that is a new project okay if you already uh, had coded some project and you have opened some classes or xml files while closing whatever the open whatever the files you open they will be opened again when you reopen the android studio uh, with the respective project but here uh, as it is a uh, brand new project it will open by default this main activity java and activity main dot xml and okay i will come to these two files in detail later in this video first we will see what are the files or folders that we get in the android studio see here in android we got a folder called app and another is a gradle scripts this is a folder this is not the folder it is a files it contains some files okay we will get back those files also so here in the app we will see three things that is a manifest folder java folder and rs that is a resource folder so if you come to the manifest folders in the front and we open it you will see like this so this is the manifest folder this is mandatory file okay so all the permissions which we want for the app then all the activities whatever you create in the that is a classes the java classes that is java classes and which are the activities those should be called here and all these things the permissions will be inside the manifest tag here so if you know any idea of the html markup language you will understand these tags see here if you see the manifest this is a opening tag that is a less than bracket is there right so this is a opening tag and this is the closing tag so it will understand that manifest has started here and ended here so all the other things whichever related to the manifest file this is added manifest.xml file should be inside this tag that is this area okay and inside that we have two things that is one is application tag and another one is the activity tag so this is application tag these have some values here that is what is the target api and i icon whatever the icon you are using here then there is a app, app name and like this some things in details but these are not uh, necessary you know we will get to know in the future because these all these will be created by default if you want to manipulate these things you can do it next is the activity tag so here this is one activity if you create an another activity you have to add another activity and its name below this activity and inside the activity you can see there is an intent filter that is this intent filter tells the android app that it should open this activity by default when you open the app so when you we open the app in your android phone or an emulator this activity will open by default and this tag that is here you can see it has a category with android name launcher okay launcher means it should be, this activity should be launched on startup of the app so you cannot give the same tag to another activity it should be given to only any single activity in the man android manifest file okay and above this application tag we can give permissions like suppose we want to use an internet permission you can see the android studio will automatically prompts 
the tags so if you just enter the less than symbol it will act it will ask you to add the to it will ask to select the tag so what i want to add is i want to add a permission right so i am using users permission and you have to give a name of the permission so i want to access an internet here see here you can see android permission internet then then now we can see we got an error here so if you add greater than symbol it will automatically it generates the closing tag for this so you can see here users permission has a closing tag here this is one type of closing the tag another one is self closing tag that is we can add a forward slash then it will automatically as a greater than symbol here which closes the tag this is auto closing tag if you want to enter anything inside this tag that is suppose here is application tag this is a closing tag this is opening and this between this tag so this complete is a opening tag this one is a closing tag and these are the attributes of this application tag and again you want to give any activities like this you can you have to close the tag like this otherwise you can close the tag like this only okay then one more thing is if you want to use android we have to add one more attribute here clear uses clear text traffic this attribute you have to add and make it as a true so that our app can communicate with the internet otherwise if you don't add this line our app will not communicate with the internet so this is the android manifest file in the coming videos we will learn more about this okay let's close this one for now next thing is the java so inside the java there will be a three with the package names three directories with the same package name but we we should not bother about these two so you can see android and the bracket there is android test and test we should not bother these two folders here we should only concern about this one so this is a package name inside that we have an file called main activity dot java which is already present here and this activity has a content with the layout activity main that is see here you can see activity main dot xml but here there is no need to give like this android will automatically identifies the layout file and it will assign it to this class so whatever the things we show in this we can manipulate the suppose here is a hello world is there so we can manipulate this text field from this class so this is the use of uh, assigning a layout to the class okay next thing is we have a resource folder inside that we have drawable folder which contains images next is a layout folder which contain our layout files like activity main.xml suppose if you create a login activity you can just create another one like suppose right click on layout create new create xml create layout xml file then we can make it as activity login and at press enter or click on finish so it will create another one here okay but this will not show up anywhere because we did not assign this one to any activity and this is a blank activity so we will delete it for now ok so now we will go to the activity main dot xml so this is activity main dot xml which was assigned to main activity dot java so here if you click on the split here we will see both the code one and the preview thing everything both will be coming here so by default it will show uh, it will show in a constraint layout so this is the layout i will clearly tell in the future videos what is the layout what is the types of layouts how to use them and where to use them like that and these are the views that is uh, these are the text this is a text view and yeah, there are another like thing like there is an image view okay image view 
so there are many views we can add inside the xml file that is layout file so this is also a markup language this if you observe here same like android manifest file we will see this uh, opening tag and closing tag and you can see this is a self closing text view with a self closing tag and if you see here for constant layout it is closed had separate a closing tag here because in in between this we have added some fields here it is showing image view in error because we did not see if you keep the mouse on that it will show some uh, reasons for this so because of this constraint properties we did not added any constraint properties it is showing like this now if you added the add this the error has gone so like this so now we will remove this one we will later come to the type of fields and uh, views inside the layout file and there, this is a, another folder called mip map folder inside this we will get an uh, that is icons whatever the icon we are using it will come so this is the default android app icon generated by the android studio and this is a round icon so we will get two folders uh, launcher and ic launcher round next thing is uh, we will get values inside values there are two things mainly we should concern about these two things the themes is an advanced part for now there is no use for us for with that so here there is a colors and a strings file so first we'll go to strings file so here uh, there is name called there is a string called app name and it has a value as hello world okay i think i misspelled it okay hello world so like this we can in this we can create multiple uh, strings so i am creating another one with my name and i enter my name as karthik okay now if we will go how to use these strings so first we will i will tell you in the java part sorry in xml part then i will tell you in the java part before going to that we will see about the colors so this is the color so these these colors are generated by default in android studio if you want to more you can also add more color attributes here color you can use as red okay and you can give the value of it that is we have to give the hexa code of the color like this so actually i have given a red deed here but i am given color value of white so it is showing the white preview here because i don't know the color value for the red so i will remove this one so this is the colors next is uh, another folder is xml file this is also not needed for now so now we'll go to the strings part so here there are two strings here string name app name that is it has a value of hello world and my name as karthik so in activity mine we have a text view which is showing as hello world but it is hard coded here that is it is hard coded here as hello world so now i want to display this one from here so what i will do is at so it is automatically show you the prompting so i will select string app name see now you can see it is showing hello world here so if i want to show my name i can just simply remove this app name and select my name you can see now it will showing as karthik okay so if you want to modify this text to its style you can just if you want to change the color select the color i mean type some c o l o like that it will give a prompt which shows as text color so select it so again at color white and black uh, some colors are there you can use anything okay next is we want to style it with bold create select text style then select bold so you can see if you want to give size to the text view text size you can like this 
like this so you can like this you can so you have to give it as sp or a dp okay okay now we will manipulate this text from the main activity dot java so now i will remove this one android text attribute for text view so you can see now it is blank it is not showing anything inside the text view so what will we do is what we have to do is inside this on create method we will create a variable for it first we will identify it like with uh, text view and we will give a name my name so we have to find it with the id so find view by id r dot id dot so now what we have to do is we have to give an id here for that see here we don't have any id suppose there are two text views here like this but if we manipulate anything that is if we want to manipulate this one how to identify it here so what we have to do is we have to give an id for this id id you can give any id but no two items in a layout should contain same id identical ids i'm giving it as my name so while giving ids we can use underscore but we cannot give id like this you can give only if you want to use a space you have to use an underscore okay next is go here and enter tv so it will prompt this is the id of the text view next here you can see a red error here what is this we did not close it in html we used to close like this but in java we will close with a semicolon you can see everything is closed like this only here this one is closed like this this one is closed like this and here you can see this flower bra uh, bracket it is closed in the same way so if you open a flower bracket you have to close it here you can see you, there are two flower opening flower braces here this is first one this is second one and for this it is closed here for this it is closed here if you miss any braces it will give an error okay next is we have to assign the text to show in the text view so now i will call my variable my name because this is a text view we use dot set text or dot string dot my name that's it so here we use as at string in a here we use at string but here we use r dot string that is a string is a file name here then my name so this is the name of our string here so okay now we assigned it how to see whether it worked or not for that we have to create an emulator by adding here go to the device manager and you have to create a virtual device but creating a virtual device is a slow process that is whenever you run a virtual device it will take some time for booting up and it will also slows your system because of the heavy ram uses that's why i prefer not to use a virtual device if you have a good configuration system you can go with it but what i will do is i will use my android device on itself for running the apps so for that you, you can what you have to do is in your android phone go to developer options and enable the usb debugging so that android studio will identifies your device and when you run the app it will run in your phone directly for now you can see now i am connecting my 
Android device through USB cable. So now you can see here there is no device. Now it has detected my device as showing it as Realme RMX3521. This is my device. Now if I click on this play button, it will run the app in my phone. Before that, I have a, I will uh, show up my screen on the monitor itself. Okay, you can see now you can see my mobile screen here. In the Android Studio, what I will do is I will just click on play button and wait for Android Studio to finish its work. It will take some time when you run the app for first time after, op after opening the project. So it will take quite some time that is uh, up to 2 to 3 minutes. If your system is uh, have less configuration it may take more than 5 minutes. So we will wait until Android Studio done its job. After finishing the building Android Studio will automatically launch our app in your emulator or your device. So what we have to do is we have to wait until it finishes its job. So now you can see the app automatically launch and it is showing Karthik here. And if you see here we did not declare any string that is any text value here in the text view. Suppose if you want to show the hello world that is app name string you can do that also and now, now we will run it see what will happen see now it is showing hello world this is a one way of displaying text here the another way is we can hard code like this same as in XML also but it is not a good practice the good practice is showing strings from strings.xml file only because suppose this is app name and that is a hello world okay and you have used this string in, a, in hundred places in our app then suddenly you want to change the app name what you have to do is you have to change in hundred places but if you use in this method from the strings.xml file if you change the hello world that is app name just in one place all the 100 place will be replaced so this is the best uh, use case of the calling the strings from the strings.xml file okay so this is how we can get so one more thing is what when we what what are the other things we can do from here is we can add functions like suppose if we touch on the hello world something should be happened suppose you want you want something should be happened that is the color of the text should be changed for that what we do is we use my name dot set on click list. you just type set on it will show like this prompting then press enter then type n u u n e v n e w then space then enter that's it you have added on click listener for the text view that is my name okay so inside this on click method we, you have to do whatever you want okay so if you notice I have given two forward slashes here that is this is called commenting in Java this this text whatever the after these forward slashes should only be used for the reading of the developer that is it is for the developers convenience only the Java will not compile this one so if you remove like this it will show an error because it is not a code okay and one more thing is first you have to declare variable then only we can do whatever we want with with that variable suppose I have declared variable here okay and uh, before that 
if i do like this it will come you you may tell me anyway it is showing the red we will know that we should not give it here but what i am saying is suppose this is a local variable because we have created inside the on create method this is a local variable what if it is a global variable that is i declared variable name here see now it will not show any error but if you run this we will get an error let's run it and we will see what will happen see what i have done is i did not close the tag here that is with semicolon i did not close the code okay we will run again see you you did not notice but what happened here is app just launch and it force closed for that if we want to know what happened here see simply if you don't did not know what we did that is actually we i told you that i am uh, manipulating this one before the declaring of the variable but what if you don't know what has happened but the app is closing simple you go to the logcat then it will automatically show on a null object so you can see attempt to invoke virtual method text view dot set text on a null object reference so if you click on this it will automatically go to the line where the code code was okay here uh, the code came up to here and here as we declared the variable afterwards it, it, it does not know what is my name and where it should uh, set text for that we have to declare variable first like this okay now now we will talk about the on click listener now we want to change the color of the text what we have to do is my name dot set color that is set text color r dot color dot till 200 you can use any color but it is showing error like this for string you can use directly r dot string but for images or colors what you have to do is first we have to add get resources dot get color inside that r dot color dot till 200 you can use any color but i am using till 200 as per my choice then now we will run it Okay, now app has launched now I am clicking on the hello world you can see now the color of the text has changed to hello world sorry that is hello world's color has changed to till 200 okay see what are this color is like this so we will see whether till 200 has same color or not so this is a till 200 and it has the same color value here and you can see the color of this text matches this one okay so this is a use of on click listener you can do anything on touch you can show a toast you can call an activity you can show a dialogue you can show or you can run a background function so like that so now so this is about the brief introduction of the android studio still we missed something that is we are created uh, we have discussed major important files we need to know as per now in the app folder but what about the gradle scripts so here we will see two things that is build gradle and build gradle this is a project and this is the module so this is not necessary we majorly deal with this one okay here 
there are few tags here android tag default config tag build types and dependencies okay and here uh, this is the package name it will automatically takes uh, whatever we give while creating a project and this is the minimum sdk and target sdk versions okay this is a version code this is the most important thing here see this version code only accepts numbers but not decimal numbers okay you can make it one as two three four five but we cannot make it as 1.1 2.1 like that but in the version name we can do the to this so what is the important of this is so when you upload uh, your app suppose we this hello world app we created it and we upload it to play store now we have make made some changes and now we want to update this app to play store then what you have to do is you need to make it as you need to increase that is increment it the next number should be higher than the one it is not uh, like that it is one so we have to add two like that you can even add a hundred but the new version code should be higher than the previous one that is the rule here and this is the version name this is for our identification and user identification suppose for users for your app users in play store it will show this version name only 1.0 you can also it is a string because it is a string you can add even text also here whatever it is it is for our identification and user identification purpose and next thing is the dependencies so dependencies are the, these are the default libraries it is used by uh, this android studio project if you want to add or implement any new dependencies that is uh, that is git libraries third party libraries which are available freely on github or if you are integrating any companies or third party libraries which they give you they i have to add those dependencies here for example we will go to github android libraries and select any one so this uh, repository is showing uh, different libraries can be used in different scenarios okay so this is a retrofit library this is used for uh, doing any server calls suppose if you want to get data from server or if you want to send data to server from your android app you can do with this retrofit library in the same way for loading images from urls that is uh, from link of the image you have, will use different libraries like glide picasso fresco like that so this is glide is a popular one and very easy to use one so suppose if i want to implement this uh, library in my android studio project what we have to do is here you can see in the dependencies they are asking us to add these things so the dependencies what we have to do is we have to copy this you should not copy dependencies dependencies tag because it is already there we have to just add those here what i did is i just pasted here sorry pasted so if you make any changes in the gradle file it will ask to sync the project again by default it will prompt you like this otherwise without syncing the code will not work because it should import uh, this project into our project this library into our project so next thing is what they ask it is one more thing is they ask to add this google and maven central okay we should copy this before this thing also we will be adding inside the gradle file only but it now it has moved to uh, gradle properties now not gradle settings start gradle i think is here you can see in the settings start gradle it is already there google and maven central so maven central okay so there is no need to adding those again because they are already added here so close this next click on sync now and we will have to wait until this library is imported into our project you can see the ongoing Starts below this here at the bottom and go to build. You can see now build is successful. So 
the project this library what is the github library is sorry in glide library from github has been successfully imported into our project now you can see if you if i type glide here see android studio will automatically identify it okay and this is just to show you how to add libraries but i will explain you more about this using of these libraries for example this glide library in the future videos and now see now we have seen our project inside our android studio but what is the folder tree inside our system so what i do is you go to build.gradle is project right click open in explorer okay now you can see this is my you can see this is the hello world project inside that this will be like this db folders inside see this is app folder so if you go to app folder you will see src libs and build.gradle this is the build out the second build.gradle is your module no? this file is this this one and this or top one is this one okay and you can see the gradle properties here and here local properties it is not showing settings dot gradle is here local properties also here so all these files are also here then go to app then we have this module build out gradle file here then you should not bother about all these things then click on src here we will see android test main and test we will go to main inside that we have this java then res resource folder here java folder this is java folder and this is the resource folder and you can see the resource folder here then here in the manifest it is showing as a directory but we will see as a file here and add manifest.xml if you go to this inside the res folder you can see this is the res folder inside the res folder we have drawable folder we have layout folder we have mipmap folder see in mipmap there will be a folders for different uh, display configurations that is uh, hdpi mdp xhdpi like that okay but in, in android studio it will show in a single mipmap and is uh, we have an ic launcher file for that file we have this type of variations it will show like this but in the directory it will show as a folder separately okay uh, next is the values folder inside values in values folder we got a strings colors strings and themes folder you can see here then next we got uh, xml okay folder same as like this here now we will go back to main hang again now if you open java file okay before going to java we will go to res and we will go to layout folder inside that we got our activity main.xml okay in the same way in the java folder suppose we open java here then package okay go to the java you see this is a, our package name so according to our package name each word here will be created as a folder com inside that hello inside that world inside this folder we will get a, our main activity dot java file okay so i think you got a brief or a good uh, orientation on android studio its anatomy and how the language uh, the xml language see whatever the language we are using in and uh, activity main dot xml this is xml code which is a markup language and inside the java file we are using a java language it which is an objected oriented language if you feel you got some use of my video you got some knowledge after watching my video please do subscribe to my channel and also click on a bell icon so that you don't miss any updates from me in the future in the coming videos i will teach you more about the development of android apps in the android studio see uh, i'm not going to teach you android development in a routine manner that is teaching everything separately language separately we will learn the android development on the go i will try to explain my level best to make 
you understand whatever i am saying thank you very much thank you for watching this video this is karthik signing off